Hey everybody, how you doing? Sir Stevie here bringing you a new Warzone video. In the video today, everyone, I'm bringing like a discussion video and this is basically going to be the five worst type of players in Warzone so far. Some of these types of players, these are like not necessarily specific to Warzone. Some of them are. Some of them are more specific, say, to Call of Duty or Battle Royale games as a whole. Some of these, you're probably going to be re reading them and watching them and think, yeah, I do this a bit as well. If you do enjoy the video, find it helpful, find it interesting, feel free to hit that subscribe and like button and turn the notifications on. Really helps out a lot. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. It's so coming into category number one for the worst type of players in Warzone. This is the one that's probably at the top of everybody's list. This is the camper. The camper is probably the most annoying person in the game. It's like an age-old tradition in Call of Duty where there's always a camper somewhere. Whether it's multiplayer, whether it's a Battle Royale Warzone, or whether it was Blackout, there's always the camper somewhere. It's your job to try and not die to them. You know, you'll be you'll be breaking your kill record, you'll be on an amazing game, you'll be flying high, you might be closing in on that first ever win, and then the camper strikes and kills you, and you were their first kill of the game. It's heartbreaking. The worst part about dying to the camper as well is probably the fact that you know that if it was a fair gunfight and say you've both seen each other at the same time, you'd probably have beaten them in the gunfight. The reason being is typically the camper is one of the worst players at the game just skill-wise. That's the reason why they're camping in the building. It's because that they don't believe they can win a gunfight, you know, without having like a reasonable advantage over their enemy. So it makes it even more frustrating dying to this type of player, knowing that if it was an even gunfight, you probably would have been able to beat them. So moving into category number two, this is something that I think everyone is guilty of. If you say you haven't done this before, then you're probably a liar. I'm not going to beat around the bush. Uh, but this is basically the third party. -er. Now, there's two ways around the third party. -er. There's the not so bad, and then there's the hideously ugly. The not so bad is you've heard gunshots in the distance. You want to push over there because you want to get some kills. And then by the time you get there, one guy's won, and the guy that did win is on like 10 health, and you just third party him. We've done it before. It's happened to you before. It's not that bad. It was just bad timing. The third party I'm on about is it's a dude who's maybe sat in a bush camping, obviously, because, you know, and they've seen two guys fighting. They could have interfered at the fight at any point, but they have literally sat and waited for the fight to finish. They've waited for the winner to be on like 10 health, just as he thinks the coast is clear, the dude that's won the fight. He gets third partied and then he loses the fight. This is the worst type of third party, the one that deliberately waits for this ridiculous advantage. Obviously, you can see a reason behind it because it just sets up an easy kill for them, but it's still seen as like a scummy, mean thing to do. Moving into category number three, this is the vehicle user. Now, obviously, vehicles are implemented in the game for one reason mainly, and that is just to help you travel away from the storm if you have a long way to travel. But... Call of Duty and all their wisdom, they decided to make vehicle damage a thing, and they managed to make vehicle damage a thing where you don't even have to make a lot of contact with the enemy, and you knock them down. There is a slight benefit, the vehicles do disable quite easily, but in some cases with vehicles like the truck, they do take quite a bit of damage to stop them. Obviously one way of stopping that is with the C4, but the fact is, the vehicle users are one of the most annoying players in the game still. If you want to go over, run people over, go play GTA, that's part of the game. But for me, I play a first person shooter because I want to play as a first person shooter. I want to be getting in gunfights. You can see, if you want to, if I had to unlock this beautiful outfit costume that you're seeing on your screen now, I had to actually get this by getting vehicle kills. So it's a little bit annoying that Infinity Ward's like endorsing vehicle kills. But at the same time, it is just one of the worst player types and one of the more annoying player types because they're kind of moving away from what the core of the game is about, which is the first person shooter aspect. Moving into category number four, this is the rooftop campers. We all know the rooftop campers are a bit annoying, whether it's the ones mainly in downtown in those really, really high rise buildings. It wouldn't be too bad if there was an easy way to get up them, but we all know there's only really two ways up there or three ways up there. There's the helicopter, which obviously they will see and shoot at immediately. There's the staircase, which seems to be the only part of the map that has any footstep audio. And then there's the elevator, which always has either a dude hard scoping at the thing, or there's about 50 claymores waiting to blow you back down the elevator shaft. It's one of the annoying ways because, obviously, it always seems to be the bounties that are up there. People seem to get a bounty on the head and then flee up to the roof of that building right away. It was even more annoying in the early days of the game when it was the kills were credited to people who first did the kill. So you might be in a, in a fight in the streets of downtown. You get a guy down, the rooftop campers then steal your kill. Annoying, annoying, annoying. <laughs> 
And then finally, last but not least, this is coming in to the final one. This is the RPG user. As everyone pretty much knows, the RPG is probably one of the most broken guns in Warzone at the minute. The thing one-shots pretty much on every single occasion. Obviously, you can't really blame someone for using this. You know, it's at the end of the day, it's the developer's fault for making this thing a one-shot. I understand it is an RPG. If it did hit you, it probably will kill you. But by the same aspect, if you were hitting in the chest by a 50 caliber bullet, you probably wouldn't be all right if we're going for a realistic approach as well. It's quite annoying. At the end of the day, though, they are an annoying player type. I don't mind someone using it early game. I've used it early game if it's, say, the first weapon that I found. But it's more annoying to people that are just using it all throughout the game because of the fact that, again, it isn't really linking to that first-person shooter aspect as such. It's just taking advantage more of a broken gun. I know this might have sounded like a bit of a rant video, but I feel like this is some stuff that annoys a lot of other people as well and I just thought it'd be fun to make a video about it let me know what you guys think in the comment section below do you agree with this do you not agree with this let me know if you are new to the channel again and you haven't done so feel free to hit that subscribe like button and turn notifications on that's it from me for today though everyone thanks so much for watching have a great day take care bye for now